This is Jason Rosenfeld from informedtrades.com and in this video I'm going to introduce the Ichimoku or Ichimoku Cloud Indicator, a useful comprehensive tool for quickly interpreting price trends. Okay, so Ichimoku was developed in 1969 by a Japanese journalist named Goichi Hasoda. Um, Ichimoku Sanjin was his nickname, uh, which means what a man in the mountain sees. And that's similar to the indicator, which is tries to have a sort of overhead view. Um, the full name Ichimoku Kinko Hayo translates to one glance equilibrium chart. And it's designed as a simple way to visualize price behaviors on multiple time scales simultaneously. Uh, the indicator is, is somewhat unique uh, for its emphasis on averages of highs and lows rather than opening or closing prices or other factors. Uh, for me, it's useful because it has well-defined, multi-layered signals for interpreting trends and price volatility, and because it simultaneously considers short, medium, and long-term averages in relation to price action. The indicator is made up of five different plots. The first is the Tenkan Sen, or the conversion line which averages the 9-period high with the 9-period low. This is the fastest plot. And then there's the Kijin Sen, known as the baseline, which averages the 26-period high and the 26-period low. Um, the next two plots make up the actual cloud shape in the graph. Uh, the Senku Span A, or the leading span A, averages those f the first two plots, the conversion line and the baseline. And on the chart, that's plotted 26 periods in the future. Uh, the Senku Span B also plot 26 periods in the future, takes the average of the 52 period high and the 52 period low. Uh, finally, the Chiku Span, the lagging span, projects the day's closing price to a position 26 periods back on the chart. Here we have a screenshot from Forex. Um, that first plot, the Tinkan Sen, is the light blue line, which most closely follows price action. Uh, the dark green is the Kijun Sen, with a longer range. And then the next two lines, the light green, uh, Senku Span A, and dark blue, Senku Span B, make up the cloud. When A is above B, the cloud is green, and when a is below B, it's blue on with this graphical setup. And finally, the copper line is the Chiku span, the lagging projection of the current closing price. So the most obvious signals in Ichimoku come from the cloud. Uh, when price action is above the cloud, uh, formed between the leading span A and B. When, when price action is above, it's a bullish trend. Uh, when price action is below, you have a bearish trend. When it's in the cloud, it's considered ambiguous or ranging. And a bullish signal is strengthened when the leading span A is above. So usually that's represented when the cloud is green. And a bearish signal is strengthened when span B is higher, which is usually a, a, a red, or in Forex, a blue cloud. Um, so since the cloud is projected into the future, you can also use it to predict support and resistance uh, based on recent historical price action. Uh, so a green cloud will tend to bolster prices keep keep it from dropping into or below the cloud uh, it, when price action is above the cloud and when price action is above the is is when the cloud is above price action then it can act as resistance in the future um, and discourage price action from moving into or above the cloud so those are both important to consider when looking at the future projection offered by Ichimoku so here's an example from Forex. Um, we can see that on the left side, 
from December to early July. Uh, the cloud is green and is can be construed as offering support to the price action. Uh, the highs from January 31st are being projected forward to the middle of March where they're supporting another uh, positive movement in price action, whereas the blue cloud on in, in mid-August can be construed as offering resistance to a uh, recovery in price action. Um, although in late August, the price action does eventually break through the cloud. Um, and this blue cloud represents the leading span B above span A. So that's a bearish signal. Beyond the signals from the cloud, the main signals in Ichimoku come from crossovers of the conversion and baselines. When the conversion line or Tenkan crosses the baseline or Kijun from below, it's a bullish signal. That's, that's when the bright blue line crosses the dark green line from below. However, when the conversion line crosses the baseline from above, it is a bearish signal. Um, and there are a few other factors to consider uh, in reading how strong these, these signals are. OK, these factors are, as we mentioned, in relation to the cloud price action. When it's above the cloud, bearish signals are weaker, bullish signals are stronger. Um, also, the position of the crossover uh, relative to the cloud, if it's above, a bullish signal is stronger and a bearish signal is weaker. And finally, the strength of a signal is also affected by the performance of the Chiku span. When the Chiku span is below the cloud or below price action, that is weak for a bullish signal and strong for a bearish signal. Whereas when the Chiku span is above, it strengthens a bullish signal and weakens a bearish signal. OK, here is an example from Forex uh, from December through late May. We can see the cloud offering support to price action. Uh, in mid-January, there is a signal. Here the uh, Tenkan Sen is crossing the Kijin Sen from above. That's the conversion line crossing the baseline from above, uh, which it registers as a very weak bearish signal um, because the crossover occurs above the cloud. Uh, the Chiku is high. The price is above the cloud. Um, the cloud is offering support, and the cloud is green. So even though we have a bearish signal, it's a very weak one. And here, um, in early March, we have a relatively strong bullish signal. The conversion line crosses from below. Um, the price is above the cloud. The cloud is green. The Chiku span is high. The crossover is above the cloud, although it's not really above price action. Finally, for this example, right after the end of May, we have a very weak bearish signal. The conversion line crosses the baseline from above, uh, but it's above the price action and above the cloud, and the cloud is green. So we have to interpret this as a very weak signal. Here is another example from Forex. We can see that there's a signal produced in mid-April as the conversion line crosses the baseline from above. So it's a bearish signal. Uh, price action is in the cloud, which has an ambiguous effect on the read. But the signal is increased by the fact that the cloud is blue uh, and the Chiku span is below. So this is a medium to strong bearish signal. During the ensuing downtrend, the blue cloud can be construed as offering resistance to price action, um, which 
continues to fall until we see a series of weak bullish signals from crossovers in August and early September, uh, which are below the cloud, about level with or below price action. But nonetheless, these, these weak bullish signals do anticipate the bullish trend. All right, that's it for this introduction to Ichimoku. Uh, if you have any questions or if you've got knowledge to share, come join us in our learning community at informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.